you're going to want to start by preheating your oven to 400 degrees while it's preheating go ahead and rinse all your bones off and then you will just pat them dry after that you're going to place them in a single layer in a baking dish just like this and roast them for 30 minutes at 400 degrees after that you're going to take some tongs and just pop them into your pot then we're going to start filling the pot with water the amount of water that you use depends on the size of your pot and how many bones you have in said pot for reference i put in about three or four pictures of water till all my bones were completely covered with the water line above the bones and then we are going to start putting in our two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar right there then we're going to cover it and start bringing it to a boil as soon as it starts to boil it gets this foamy top and we want to skim that off for just the first hour that's as long as it usually takes um, and you can see it's really starting to grow and it's so gross <laughs> just skim it off and plop it on a paper towel here it is completely skimmed after that first hour now we're going to cover it we're going to bring the heat down to the lowest setting and we're going to simmer it for 24 hours now here's the thing is you're going to want to check on it the water evaporates and it brings it down uh, the level comes down below the bone so you're going to want to add water I work outside of the home, so I usually add water in the morning when I wake up and then when I get home from work. So here we are after our first 24 hours. This is what it looks like. And now we're gonna add in our celery, onion, and carrots. Now it is really good with just this. You don't need any spices. I actually prefer it that way, but this time I went ahead and added in all of these spices. I put a tablespoon of everything in, except for the mace. You just put in a dash, that's it, it's mace use these spoons i got them off of amazon all right here we go oh one bay leaf by the way that's all you need there and uh don't fill up your water before you put in your veggies don't make that mistake that i have made because uh, there, there's no room for your goodies so go ahead and dump those in and then you are going to top it off with water this is when the fun part begins i guess uh, everything starts to really get good after here. Again, we are going to fill this as the water line lowers and we are going to cook it for two more days on low. After it's been cooking, then you're going to gather a cheesecloth strainer and a big bowl and put your cheesecloth underneath your strainer. Uh, my husband helped me do this part because I'm videotaping it, but usually I can do it myself. It's not that bad. Just go slow, but be careful because it's really, really hot. So everything's going to get poured out into the strainer. These bones, put them off to the side. They are not completely wasted. You can actually get the marrow out of them still. This is what it kind of looks like after everything's been strained through the strainer, but it's not completely how we want it. That's what the cheesecloth is for. You can see I'm just kind of mixing it up to give you guys an idea of what it looks like. So here we are with the cheesecloth. It's starting to come out. Squeeze it. Get all of it out. And then mix it up. You can see how pretty it is. It's got that really, really creamy color. You can see the fats on top. And then I'm just going to take my ladle and pour it into my silicone muffin tin mold thing. That I got off of Amazon. It's food safe. And we're just gonna fill these up. And it's a puck after you freeze it, basically. And so we do this and place them in the freezer. You can see that. I layer them, put tin foil on them. That's what I found is best to keep them from sticking to each other so you can stack them. Take your puck and place it in a Ziploc bag. And that's how I keep them frozen. And then when I heat it up, I just put some salt and pepper in it. I will dilute mine with water. This is about two pucks and some water. There you go.